Hey guys, today I'm doing a tutorial on how to paint anime glass paintings in a more easier and simpler way and show you what to do and what not to do when you're painting on the glass. The material today I'll be using is a glass frame. You can get this at Walmart or Dollar Tree for $2 to $3. I also will be using Apple Barrel acrylic paint. I will also use Royal and Lane Nickel brushes that are used only for acrylic and I will be using a sketch that I made before the video. Also today I'm going to be using a Sharpie Ultra Fine Point. You can get this at Walmart. I also recommend using the oil Sharpie instead of the alcohol based Sharpie because if you use the alcohol based Sharpie it will go away and it won't make a clean outline. I have a TikTok where I do anime glass painting tutorials but they only last a few seconds so many people requested me to make a more larger video where I can go more in depth with glass painting so if you want to check it out it'll be in the end of the video or in the link in the description below. Just a little reminder, be careful when you're handling glass. I myself have cut myself many times because of the glass. If you are like a child or you're afraid of glass, I recommend using plastic first. It will be a lot more safer and you won't get cut um, like I do. <laughs> I will be using tape so I can secure the sketch. So when I am outlining, the sketch won't move when I'm doing it. Also, before you sketch your picture out, make sure you invert it because it will be nearsighted if you don't. Next thing that I'm going to do is outline the image with the sharpie, make sure it's oil based. Many people were telling me how to make my outline more darker and as you can see I'm not going over the line one time, I'm going over like three or two times. This can make the sharpie outline more opaque and it can make it more darker. Also, I have been receiving many questions on how do I make clean lines and basically I just put my palm against the glass and I outline it. It is more better to not have your hands above the glass because this, this can cause your hands to shake and make the lines very um, not likable. Another thing, hand positioning is very important because as you can see my hand is on the side where it's not been outlined so it will not be smeared. I usually just turn the painting many times around so I cannot smear any of the sides and so I won't mess up. Now I'm gonna 
safely take it out of the glass i'm just gonna peel it away um i recommend doing this very slowly because you can either break the glass any second so glass is very delicate so i have to be very careful with it many people said where do i get my reference pictures and i get the most from pinterest and then i upload them to procreate so i can like flip the image but yeah so today we're gonna do the highlights and as you can see where i'm pointing there's all the little tiny white stuff so i'm gonna be doing that first because it's important to do the small highlights first using my favorite tiny brush uh, that i got from michael's um, it is important to use a certain size of brush i use a small brush when i'm doing highlights and i'm going to be using white so i can do the highlights so very carefully i look at my reference picture and i know where to place the highlights Also, when you're painting, make sure to avoid brushing against the Sharpie. It is more better to dab it on or just put clumps of paint. Um, it will be more easier because if you brush on the Sharpie side, your Sharpie will fade away when you turn it over or it will just crack. So it's more better to just dab on the paint. I will be using the color black for his eyes and first I have to put the little tiny white highlights in his eyes. So many people told me why do I have certain different types of paint that was left that wasn't supposed to be there and I said it's because you did not wash your brush. Make sure to always wash your brush when you're always using new paint or just dry it off. It's more better that way and it won't you won't mess up. I'll be using a small medium brush um i got this also at michael's and i'll be doing the little tiny bigger highlights on his eye Next, I'm going to fill in his eye with the white acrylic paint. Make sure to dab it on there or just put the clumps of paint on there. But don't put too much paint because putting too much paint can cause the paint to crack, um, especially when you're using apple barrel. It is also important to not overlap your paint. Um, many people overlap their paint and this can cause bubbles. Um, I have experienced them, so yeah, it's better to not overlap your paint. It is important to also flip over the paint. As you can see, it's looking pretty good so far. So yeah, make sure to always flip your painting because you never know when you're going to mess up. Many people don't flip their paint and then that's when they mess up. So now I'm going to do the lighter brown highlights. Um, I'm going to be mixing brown. I'm going to be using a brown oxide with a mix of whites to make the highlights color. Um, as you can see, the reason why I flipped the painting is so I won't put my palm on the side where I have already did the highlights. This can prevent from any smearing in the highlights i usually just flip the painting many times around so so i can avoid this
Um, I also have seen many TikTok videos where they print out a picture reference and they put it underneath the glass. You can also do this. It will be more effective. The reason I didn't do this is because I don't have a printer. But you can do that and it will be more better. Um, yeah. I'm doing the medium to large um, shading, which is the black. Um, I'm going to be using a tiny brush to do all the tiny little details. As you can see, I'm using my tiny black brush. Um, I am looking at, I'm still looking at my reference picture so I can know where everything goes. Now I'm going to be using two different colors, brown oxide and chocolate bar. Um, I'm going to be mixing these two together to make the hair piece, which is the final bit of the hair. This is called the larger piece. Um, and then I can just finally fill everything in. It's very important to remember to not overlap the highlights. Remember, this could cause bubbles. So you're going to have to carefully do a smaller brush and outline it. I've used this trick many times by pulling up the glass painting and putting it against any light source. As you can see, you can see little tiny spots that haven't been filled in. I just lightly dab my paintbrush on the places that haven't that need to be filled instead of layering or putting more paint until you can't see anything. This is more better and this saves more paint. So I flip it again and I have to make sure everything's going right. As you can see, I missed a few spots so I go over and I still dab on the paint on the spots that need to be filled. But it's again, it's very important to keep flipping so you will know what parts need to be filled. Many people were telling me how do I make skin tones and it's very easy. You can do this many ways but this is one way. I use the color red and I use yellow and white. I first use the color yellow and then I put one tiny drop of red. It is very important to put only one tiny drop of red. Um, adding more red can make the skin tone more peach like. Um, Adding more yellow can make the skin tone more tan-like and what the white does, it, it makes the color more brighter or, you know, more, if you add brown, it makes the skin tone a little bit more darker, um, it depends, and so yeah. When I mix the colors, I got a bit of a tan skin tone, so to make the skin tone a little bit more lighter, because I wanted more like a pale-like skin tone, I add a little bit of white so I can make the color a little bit more lighter, and this helped. I'm going to be using a little bit of brown oxide. Um, I'm going to be putting a little bit and then adding the original skin color and adding a little bit of brown, mixing them together. This makes a shade of the original color mixed with the um, skin tone color. Adding black to any type of skin tone color can make the skin tone color look a little bit muddy. So I just use brown and this, this actually helps a lot. It makes it more natural. Now using my tiny 
brush, I'll make the tiny skin tone highlights. Then I'm going to be using the shading color. I'm going to keep looking at my reference picture and I'm going to start shading where it's supposed to be. I usually do a small little outline first and then I'm going to fill the rest in. This helps me know exactly where to fill in and then I'm just going to put a little bit of paint. I always dab on the paint so yeah make sure to do that. Also um, I know I don't wait for my paint to dry but it's important if you're like beginning to do glass painting it's important to make sure to wait each piece to dry i'm just so used to doing this that i i never rarely even fail so yeah make sure to do that to make any shading color you're always going to use your original color as black many people said you can't use black but honestly i've used black for many of my paintings and they they turn out very well but many people have criticized my videos that say they you can't use black but I, I honestly use black and it works out for me but you can also use the uh, complementary colors to make a certain shade so use your original color which is brown and then mix black this makes the shade which is dark brown i'm finally done dabbing all the paints as you can see and carefully i'm gonna flip it over and it turned out pretty good I hope this tutorial helps and if you have any questions you can comment them below and I can probably answer them in the next video that I'm gonna make.